What's up, Aries? Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general monthly tarot card reading for the month of July of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. It is so wonderful to meet you. My name is Eric. And if you're returning, what's up, squad? Yo, so check it out, Aries. General reading for the month of July of 2021. Yeah, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're new, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and also joining the conversation. This is Divine Conversations, guys, so the floor is open. Whatever's going on for you, however this resonates for you, if there are something, questions, or just something you want to get off your chest, you are welcome to share it here, yeah? Let's have a conversation about it. All right, um... I think I just want to get into it because because Aries, I have a pre-shuffle here for you and it is, it's a lot of cards, but it's a lot of cards that are just telling me a story that it's not going to be too hard to explain. It's actually quite straightforward. Your overall energy for the month of July, or at least just this moment, um, is the Nine of Pentacles. So there, ooh, underneath the Nine of Pentacles, also you have the Nine of Cups, okay? So there is a strong sense of um, independence that you were stepping into at this moment, Aries. Um, and this independence feels like you uh, you are strongly focused on providing yourself with the opportunities that you need to find some sort of satisfaction. Okay, with the Nine of Cups here, this is this is a general everyday satisfaction. All right, this is and this kind of feels like, especially coupled with the Nine of Pentacles, there's an energy of really working diligently, maybe even hard, if you want to say that, in order to find a sense of stability or just a, a, a baseline in your life in which you can just be content and happy no matter what is going on for you. And I really do feel like you're taking you're taking responsibility for that effort in your life with this nine of pentacles here. So you're coming from a place of um, dissatisfaction and maybe even feeling left out in the cold or just not feeling good enough, a sense of lack mentality, we can say the five pentacles here, all right? But recently, there has been a, a pretty good, a pretty massive shift for you. Um, and I feel like that shift is coming in terms of a change in perspective, um, ultimately, that it has, has helped you to understand how certain establishment energies or certain status quo energies have not been providing you with the opportunity that you want and need, the higher font to the star. And this is where I'm getting the energy, Aries, of the fact that you are taking active control here because you've reached a sense of stability and maybe even a sense of personal power here with this four of wands that has got you questioning where it is you're going, what your momentum is, what is ahead of you on your path, what are you heading towards on your path. And there, and, and even even though we don't have the uh, the hanged man here, I definitely feel like there is a shift in perspective. Something has happened for you recently, which quite frankly has technically been a part of your path all along, three of wands, but something has happened here. You've gotten to a state of stability within yourself, the four of wands energy, and that caused you to question, kind of caused you to look at things and be like, wait a second. Is this really what I want in my life? Is this really where I'm going in my life? Or I, this is where I'm going, but is this where I want to go in my life? And there has been a realization here of how following the status quo, the, the hierophant, or um, doing the same old things or doing the things the same old way, continuing with some sort of established energy has not been providing you with the opportunities or the wish fulfillment that you are actually seeking, okay? I definitely feel like this has been a recent um, uh, realization for you that is helping you to break out of a sense of the Eight of Swords here. So right now, in terms of this energy at this moment, I feel like Aries, and obviously everybody's going to be on a different, um, at, at a different place in their any given path, but at least maybe either at this moment or when this first started for you, um, there was there is an energy of you realizing how you've been blocked or how you've been held back here, and it feels like right now, especially with the four of wands and the three of wands, it feels like you're using this stronger sense of stability within yourself, spiritual understanding, creative understanding, understanding of your power, what it is that you want, who you truly are, and what it is your soul really wants. There is right now there is an energy of, or at least there in the beginning there is an energy of you realizing and questioning what it is you're 
working towards on your path in your life right now and working out working your way out of this sense of control or confinement or conformity that is represented by the Hierophant here, okay? Last thing in your pre-shuffle, you do have the Justice card with the Page of Cups, okay? And already this is talking about bringing justice into your life in terms of what truly matters to you on an emotional level. For some of you, there is an energy of getting in touch or in tune with your inner child or just a deep sense of innocence and what it is you truly want on an emotional level. And you're bringing that into focus. You're bringing that into fruition in your life. And that's why we have this justice here in terms of your emotional reality. Uh, coupled with that, you do have the Nine of Wands with the Seven of Wands. So this is another energy for me in, in terms of talking about the moment that you actually start to really take an active role in this new perspective and this new trajectory in your life, you're going to have to persevere a little bit, okay? At the very beginning, there's an energy of needing to persevere. I mean, you're coming out of this kind of battered and bruised in some ways. The Nine of Wands can represent the wounded warrior energy or just being wounded. But again, there's this realization, there's this state of higher awareness that I'm definitely feeling for you here. And this Nine of Wands energy, coupled with the Seven of Wands, is representing you actively pulling yourself out of the muck. So whether this is already, this part of the phase has already transpired for you, or you're actively in this part of the phase right now, you are needing to really persevere, try your hardest, try your best. And what I heard specifically, Aries, is don't look back because that energy is only going to try and trap you again or keep you trapped even more for some of you there is i wonder if the devil is going to come out in the rest of the reading for you here because i definitely feel an energy at least in the very beginning of this process of this change for you we have we could be having the devil showing up trying to keep you locked into an old state of being don't let that happen okay excellent you see this is perfect it's not the devil that's come out here but it in fact is the king of swords and the six of cups as you move forward in your journey at this point, Aries, you need to stay very, very clear, very clear and wisely positioned King of Swords in terms of what the past has been for you, what the past means for you. And you really need to keep a, a strong focus as you take this leap of faith moving forward or start this new cycle or this new beginning or this new opportunity for yourself, Aries, with the, with the fool that's at the bottom of the deck. You have to stay very quite keenly aware of exactly what the past was for you. Keep that in your, like, like, don't forget about that, okay? Like, obviously, don't harp on the past. Don't stay rooted in the past. Don't overthink the past. But allow the past to show you exactly what uh, you need to see and be very keenly aware of exactly what the past was for you. See it for what it truly is. Because that is, in fact, going to help you moving forward because it's going to give you um, a frame of mind or a point of view in terms of what it is you're trying to create for yourself moving forward or whatever it is this new leap of faith is moving forward. Allow yourself to take those lessons that you learn or the experiences from the past and use those to help you shape whatever new or better you are actively trying to create in your life, okay? I love this for you, Aries. So we're going to get into the rest of this here. I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what else we have for you in your reading for this month, yeah? Excellent. Five shuffles here for my Aries one. Also, guys, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs, maybe even your Venus sign, um, because that's going to help you give get a much more rounded, uh, well-rounded view as to what these energies are or what's going on for you at this moment in time, yeah? This is two. This is three for my Aries. What's going on with my Aries game? This is three. This is four. And this is five. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. All right, Aries. Let's cut the deck here. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so your overall energy for this reading. Okay, we do have the star here. The star is still in reverse. Um, technically, that's because I forgot to, as I was clearing up your pre-shuffle, I forgot to turn it upright, but that's okay. I'm going to say that we're going to leave the star in reverse here for you for this moment, but that it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because 
part of what's happening for you here in this energy, um, which is coupled with the three of wands that came out in your pre-shuffle, you're questioning a lot. You're trying to recognize for your, and, and, oh, especially coming out of whatever hi, the Hierophant represented to you. We'll call that whatever established energy or established trajectory was you were uh, moving forward with in your life up until this point. You're starting to question whether or not that really is the right thing for you. Is this the wish fulfillment that I want? Is this where I want to be going? More specifically, is this actually where my soul is pulling me towards? If you've been experiencing a lot of resistance in your life up until now, of which many of you I feel like you're already starting, you are already aware of, which is why you're starting to question things like this, that resistance was necessary. Because that's the way that our higher selves and the universe kind of nudges or pushes us to get into that right uh, alignment or that right path, okay? That right trajectory. So yeah, I'm going to leave the star in reverse here for you. But again, it's not a bad thing. It's just about questioning, okay? You do have underneath the star, you have the Ace of Wands. Underneath the Ace of Wands, you do have the Three of Cups. And then underneath the Three of Cups, Aries, you do have Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, uh, the star is Aquarius energy. You could have Scorpio in your chart. You could have Aquarius in your chart. You could be dealing with either one of those energies, but it doesn't have to be that way for you, okay? What I am getting from this in your overall energy, Aries, is that the Three of Cups is representing your spirit team, your soul, your higher guidance, guidance the universe, those that you connect with that have been been your guides that are your guides in this sense and i'm definitely getting there could be some specific physical uh external beings in your life ex people actual people in your life that are represented by this three of cups this kind of community energy that are cheering you on but the biggest thing that i'm getting from that aries is this is your spirit guidance team and they are very very happy with you in terms of just the fact that you're questioning this at all and because this questioning is leading you towards getting into better alignment with what it is you truly want. And that's what the Ace of Wands is representing here. There's this feeling of inspiration, of needing to move in a new direction or wanting to new, move in a new direction. And there underneath at the bottom, at the, at, uh, at the bottom of all of this, you do have death, okay? So this is definitely a transformation and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, Aries, so we're going to get into the first half of your reading. The first half of your reading here is going to be more of an energy. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, the past up until this moment in time for you. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at this moment in time moving forward. Okay. All right, cool. Hold on a second. Got to get my sips in. All right. <laughs> first half of your reading. Yes. From, so looking from the past up until this moment in time. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, we do have the Seven of Swords. And this is not as sinister as you might think. For some of you on a relationship, if, if this is resonating for you on a love situation or a love tip uh, in a, a relationship type way, um, it, I don't, I'm not necessarily feeling like if you've had a partner or if you've been dating someone or maybe even multiple people, I don't really feel like they have been deceiving you. I don't feel like they're your partner or anyone that you've kind of been involved with has been deceptive. What I feel is deceptive here has just your alignment with certain relationships. So for some of you, if this is resonating on a love on a love tip or like relationship status type of energy, you're coming to a realization that the relationships that you have been involved in haven't exactly been, number one, for your highest good or exactly what it is that you want. And you've gotten to this I, 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 for, for a lot of you, or maybe even some of you that are really are, are experiencing this through multiple partnerships, you've been going through and having those different experiences with these different people. And that's not bad at all. It's just been leading you to this point of a greater understanding of what it is you truly want in a relationship. And this doesn't have to relate, be just relationships for you guys. This could resonate in any way. That was coming forward, so I wanted to say that. But that literally could be applied to anything that you're dealing with. It's just that the deception here is you starting to realize that what it is you've been aligned with, what it is that you've been working with, what it is that you've been on a path towards is not actually what it is that you want or is in the best alignment for you or is really serving your highest good, okay? Seven of Swords is coupled with page of wands see this is exactly what i'm saying or what i've been saying so this reality of some sort of deceptive type energy for you aries 
has really not been bad. It's actually overall, when you really boil it down, it's been good because it's causing you to re-identify yourself. It's causing you to change the game. It's causing you to change your alignment. It's causing you to change how you show up in the world and what it is you seek, what it is you go after for, okay? The Page of Wands is also representing excitement. I feel like um, as you start to develop more and more of this awareness or this change in perspective for you, Aries, this new, the prospect of whatever new it is that's coming forward or whatever new you could be creating in your life is getting to be very, very exciting because it's getting you into further alignment with what it is that you want on a soul level. Okay. And that's going to happen naturally when you are aligned with your soul, when you are aligned with what is truly meant for you, it is one of the best feelings. It is like one of the easiest ways to, to experience that feeling of bliss, which is one of the highest vibratory energies and feelings that you can align with. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful Aries. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading. There you go. There's more excitement. The Knight of Wands. Listen, Aries, if you're not feeling it yet, if you're still just in this preliminary energy of the Page of Wands, let me tell you something. You're about to hit this. The more and more that you align, get into greater alignment, or at least consciously choose to work on getting into that greater alignment with yourself, the more excited and the more driven and the more passionate you are going to be. This is excellent. The Knight of Wands is coupled with the Queen of Cups. There you go. All right. So look, this, uh, okay, so I'm seeing this as a combination. These two energies, the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups, is boiling down to the, the energies of, the, of the, uh, the Queen of Wands for me. Be, but this is because we're talking about um, the basics of the Law of Attraction, right? And there are many different uh, ways to... There are many different ways to work with the law of attraction and to work with manifestation. But from the way I understand it, one of the very first and easiest ways, the, the, the basic way to, to really work with the law of attraction is to focus on how you feel, okay? So the queen of wands represents that because she is receptive, she's feminine, and she's very confident in herself, very self-loving, very self-aware, and knows exactly what it is that she wants. And she is the receptive form where she al al aligns with what it is that she wants and then she allows it to, she, she uses her receptive energies to allow that to, to, to draw it towards her. So this is kind of a breakdown of that. The more you focus on how it is you feel and what it is you truly feel, right? what is really going on for you emotionally in any given circumstance, the more you're going to be able to get into alignment with this, with taking the action towards what it is that you truly desire, all right? The Knight of Wands is representing action, right? The Page of Wands represents that creative new beginning. The Knight of Wands represents the action taken in that creative new beginning. And the more you understand how it is you feel, Aries, the more it is you're going to get be able to get into greater alignment. And that doesn't mean pushing away anything that doesn't feel good. You have to understand, you have to balance feeling good, like, like positive good energies and negative bad feeling energies. You have to use them in tandem. You can't, you can't, um, sacrifice the negative energies just for feeling good all the time. Like that's not practical. That's some spiritual bypassing and we're not trying to do that here. Okay. You have to take into account everything that you're feeling because even the negative emotions, the negative feelings Aries are very valuable for you because they will help you understand which direction you don't want to be moving in. Right? So use both, use a balance a harmonization of your emotions and your feelings to help you get into a further alignment with what it is you truly want. Your challenge in the first half of your reading is the King of Swords. There's the King of Swords again, being very clear and honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself, Aries. If you're struggling with this new, this new perspective, with this new feeling, if there, there, for some of you, there could be people around you, okay, that are helping to try and keep you in the old energy, or at least I feel for some of you, there's an element of guilt kind of coming up for you because it's like, I don't want to do this any longer. I don't want to be in alignment with this any longer. This doesn't resonate for me. So what? There's no reason to be guilty or to feel guilty about that. This is your life. This is your path. You are the ma master manifester in your life. You are the controller, the CEO, the emperor of your own life. You get to make the executive decisions. So your challenge here, Aries, moving forward in this energy is to remain as mm, clear as possible. Work to see everything in your life as you're trying to work on figuring out what this best alignment is for you. 
Be as diligent and honest with yourself as possible. And, and look at every element in your life that is that comes into question in this phase. Look at it and to it with an effort or an intention to see it as it truly is. Not as your not as your your emotions make it out to be, which can be a little bit clouded, because I feel like they're being influenced by others, and definitely not the way others describe it. I mean, yeah, you can go bounce some ideas off of your friends, family, or people that you find closest to you, people that you really trust. But remember, Aries, that you are the one who makes the executive decision. So bounce your ideas off of people if you feel comfortable in doing that. But also take it with a grain of salt. Take their advice or their opinion with a grain of salt and work to see it as it truly is for yourself. How it truly vibrates or resonates with you. Okay. King of Swords is coupled with. Yeah. The Seven of Cups. This is beautiful, okay? So there are a, a number of things that you're going to have to work through or have to come to an understanding of. But again, stay as clear and honest with yourself as possible because that is your greatest ally here. Your honesty, Aries, is, the great, is your greatest ally here, okay? Even if there are some difficult things that you have to face, even if that difficulty is facing the reality of, wow, I actually have to leave this behind, then be honest with yourself and just do it. Okay, because it's going to serve your highest good moving forward. Your closing message or potential outcome for the first half of your reading, Aries, is the Two of Pentacles. So I do feel like, um, right, uh, at least in the current moment for you, Aries, the biggest thing for you to do to, to understand or to move forward with this inspiration that you have um, is to work on balancing your life, bringing things into focus, weighing things, weighing that like which, especially with this King of Swords and Seven of Cups in your challenge, which of which the Seven of Cups represents options that you need to sift through, weigh them out, you know, what feels better for you, okay? So let's say you have Seven Cups or... We have the seven of cups. So let's say you have seven different things that are in front of you at this moment, right? Take one, focus on it. See it for what it truly is, what it truly means for you, Aries, right? And, and maybe even write down how you feel about it. Okay, then take the next one, do the same thing. Focus on what it means for you, write down how you feel about it. And then take the two of them and weigh them together. Which one feels the best? Which one feels the heaviest? Okay, we're gonna take, the, we're gonna go with the one that's, that feels the best, right? We're going to take that. We're going to put that down. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to take that. We're going to look at it. We're going to understand it. We're going to see what it truly means for us. And then we're going to weigh it against this other one that we just weighed before. Which one feels the best? Oh, now this one doesn't feel so good. So we're going to go with this one and we're going to leave that one there. And we're going to reject that one. Okay. That's what the two of pentacles is representing for you, Aries. This sense of balancing uh, the different options in your life or just the different feelings. Okay. Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Eight of Swords. This is the process, Aries, of you breaking yourself free from this confinement. Again, Aries, I, I, and this is coming through very strongly at this moment, so I really have to say this. You do not allow other people, outside individuals, even no matter how close they are to you in your life, mother, father, sister, brother, uh, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, best friend since you, uh, you since y'all were in kindergarten. Okay, but... But still, you need to be the person that makes the executive decision in your life here, all right? This is not going to affect anyone else but you. You have to keep that in mind. So you want to make sure that you're aligning with something that further on down the road or down, further on down the process, you're still good with it. You're still saying to yourself, yeah, I made the right decision. But you made that right decision because you made, you made it in terms of what's best for you, not what other people are saying about it for you, okay? That is the process of breaking free, breaking free, all right? I love this for you, Aries, this is great. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the second half of your reading, yeah? So this is the current moment, off into the future, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, we have the Six of Wands, personal victory. For some of you, this is public recognition. You going through this process and really and, and stationing yourself in it and embodying it is going to provide others with a point of view to say, whoa, who is this? I didn't know. Th Wait, this is this really you? Like, this is not the person that I was best friends with since kindergarten, but you know what? I like it. This is excellent. Like, what did you do? Like, you glowed up. Like, whoa, what is this? Like, how, let me get some, like, what, what, do, yo, what pills are you taking? Let me get one. You know what I'm saying? But that's just a personal glow that's coming from you because you have this sense of stability and foundation and validation in yourself, in your life, in your trajectory. 
This is beautiful. Uh, Leo energy as well. We have Leo here. We have um, Sagittarius here. We have the uh, Cancer. We also have Aquarius, if any of that resonates for you. Six of Wands is coupled with the Ace of Swords. Aries, are you kidding me? Like, this is great. Look at this. Your personal victory comes into place because you know the truth. You have come to a greater understanding of yourself. You can stand there and say, I know what it is that I need to do, or I know what it is that's right for me. I know what's in alignment for me. I may not know have the full picture, but I, exa I know exactly where I want to be going. And so I'm going to move forward with that. And that alone, Aries, is enough to give you that sense of foundation and validity to get you moving forward. This is Gorgeous, Aries. I love this. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading. You do have the Nine of Wands. Again, okay, that's fine. But it kind of makes sense, Aries, because this is the beginning stages. This is you starting to take those first few steps, all right? Do not let the past hold you back. Do not let any naysayers come in and be like, no, I don't know if that's right for you. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. I think you might be wasting your time. Actually, honey, you're wasting your breath by trying to get me out of alignment with what I know is best for me. Like, I love you, no shade, but like, save your breath. Because it's, it's not up for discussion. And I don't mean that in any disrespectful way. I'm just saying, you're not here, you're not in my body, you're not in my skin, you're not in my mind, you don't, you are not, I mean, yes, we're all connected, but you're not me. So you don't really make, I mean, you don't really get a say. <laughs> love you, but save it, right? Nine of Wands is coupled with the Four of Cups. Mm. Okay, Aries, this Four of Cups is feeling like other people. If this is a relationship for you, unfortunately, I do feel like there could be a possibility that this relationship may end as you move forward. And that's natural, okay? Okay. Um, this, But this just feels like Nine of Wands with the Four of Cups. This just feels like, for the most part, it feels like people not wanting to join you, people not wanting to take your offer. Um, there really could be a level of enlightenment and awareness, higher awareness, and maybe even ascension that you're going through here. And there could be a lot of people around you that are looking at you like, mm, no, I don't want to do that. And it's like, okay, well, I'm going to keep going. For others of you, this Four of Cups kind of feels like apathy um, and discontentment, but from the past. I, I, I want to say that if you persevere, if you keep moving, Aries, this sense of apathy and boredom is going to lift, okay? All right. Your challenge, Aries, in the second half of your reading is the Ace of Pentacles, and that's a good challenge to have because you really are creating something brand new. So in the current moment moving forward towards the future or looking towards the future here, Aries, you do have two aces. And that's two new, and that's those are representing beginnings. The ace of swords is representing the conscious understanding of what it is you're moving forward towards. The challenge here is to bring that into tangible existence, okay? To generate that seed that can now be planted into the ground to be nurtured into the new that is coming, that you are actively creating in your life, okay? Ace of Pentacles as your challenge is coupled with, ah, the Three of Swords. But you know what the Three of Swords is representing here for you, Aries? Fertilizer. Mm -hmm. So if we're keeping up with that uh, analogy of the Ace of Pentacles being that, generating that seed to plant into the ground, use your pain and the difficulty that you've experienced up until now, from the past up until now, use that as fertilizer, and mulch, if you want to call it that, to help nurture and fertilize and provide this new beginning with, um, with something to, to feed off of. Yeah? Take your pain and transmute that into fertilizer. That's your challenge here, okay? So as you're moving forward and understanding, with, especially with in the previous section, in the first half of your reading, the challenge was the King of Swords to the Seven of Cups. As you're working on understanding certain elements of your life that need to change or just getting a, a, a better understanding of what it is that's around you, use that as fuel, okay, to start this new beginning. Yes? Use it as an understanding of what it is that you don't want in your life moving forward so that you can take that, grind it up, and use it as mulch and fertilizer for this next phase in your life. Yeah? 
Closing message or potential outcome for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading, you have the Knight of Cups. I love this because this Knight of Cups is representing you moving forward with a fully open and clarified heart. Allow yourself to let your heart be your guide moving forward here. Also, the Knight of Cups is kind of representing a nurturing energy to help water this new beginning, okay? But it's coming from your heart space. The Knight of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Wands. This is beautiful. I love the way this is ending for you, Aries. And what this is saying here is that you, as you continue to move forward with your heart, clarity in your heart, that will continue to open doors and pathways to continue keep continue uh, out of this Eight of Swords, this mental prison or this confinement. It's going to keep you clear and open and keep the keep the pathway open so that you can continue to move forward. And you can there uh, uh, clearing away any clutter or debris that keeps you from focusing on your target. Okay, this is an excellent reading for you, Aries. I want to close out this reading. We're going to get your closing guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yes? All right, Aries. I'm going to give this three shuffles for you. Yeah? One. This is two. And this is three. All right, Aries, let's close out this reading for you here. Here we go. You have card number 37, goddess Tara and Tibetan courts, her eye ever open. And 37 boils down to a 10. So a 10 is a number of completion. Yeah, you do have the nine of wands here that has shown up twice. So the nine represents the ending of the situation, and now the ten in your oracle guidance represents the completion. Excellent. All right. So this card for you says, We bring you the empowerment of her eye ever open. The divine protection around you is absolute and complete. Your simple request for the universal mother to watch out for you and to protect what has meaning for you allows you to live your life, do your work, and know the most powerful one is caring for your well-being on all levels. You can trust, be free from worry, and remain open to the world with joy in your heart. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, Aries. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I really love hearing from you guys. Let's have a conversation about it. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading, reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. And I highly recommend that you guys check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. We have a lot of great stuff there. With that said, Aries, I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>